Hello everyone. It's time again to play Space Station 13. Uh, we're only nine minutes into the round. Let's see what's available. Um, hmm. Well, let's be a miner. We'll see if we can actually do our job of gathering ore for the station. Sometimes, uh, only nine minutes in, we should be able to do it, but uh, we shall see. There's a chef. So the mining shuttle is located at the very bottom, well, uh, very bottom of the station, bottom right. There are faster ways to get to the mining station, but I'm going to show off the main way to get there. I don't know if we'll do many actual mining. We might just go explore space. Oh, Quartermaster's got a sax. That's cool. So, to use the mining shuttle, it's pretty easy. You have this computer here. Just click on it. We'll click Move Shuttle. The shuttle's already here, you don't need to do that, of course. Got a meteor shield generator here. These are used if you um, see those announcements that say some meteor showers coming to the station and tell you the general direction. You can uh, take these and deploy them near, around windows. Just click on it to turn it on. And you see it creates a little shield there. If you. Um, just to show this. See if you put it right next to Windows, see it generates a little shield there. I'm just going to leave it there. It'll eventually run out of power and turn off. It also can't be moved while it's turned on, so... And then, when, you're at, when you get into the shuttle, you just click this Move Shuttle again. And it moves, it'll move it to the uh, mining station. Got a space GPS here. This is so that telescience can locate the mining shuttle. Although it's not very useful because uh, I don't even think that it is labeled as a mining shuttle GPS. So Let's see. So mining station. Up here you got all these spacesuits. You can usually tell if you're a late join joiner and you come up here, you can usually tell how many miners there are just by the equipment in here. There are no miners. As you can see, all the equipment is still here. So that's nice. So what we'll do, you just gotta suit up. So basically you just put on a space suit. Space GPS is nice to have. You can put on a helmet. You can get a breath mask, it's this little a little bit of blue sticking up here that I can't pick up. Try this. There we go. Breath mask, jetpack. I'm not going to put the jetpack on yet. Got these. This is very important for a miner, this optical mason sensor. Basically what it does is it allows you to see through the walls, but it doesn't allow you to see people or objects. It just allows you to see the general layout. The main reason it's great for miners is that you can see through the rock. So, otherwise I would have to guess at what's here. And um, as a miner, that can be a real, real hold up. I'll put my PDA in my backpack. Have a miner built here. Throw that in. And pick up all these mining satchels. A lot of mining satchels. Cargo transporter is pretty important. Another mining satchel. It's good to take the pick with you. You don't use it too, too much, but it's good to have it. The geological scanner is important. Take that. I'm waiting for space. I usually just take this emergency tank and put it in my box there. Okay, don't need anything else there. 
Those charges, um, those little yield charges, I generally don't take them. And you'll see why in a sec. So, we have a jetpack, but it only starts half full. So just throw it in this oxy can here, O2 can, and then just crank this pressure all the way up. And then open it. I said open it. There we go. And you wait. Okay, there we go. And then you close it. Always close this first, and then remove the tank. If you have that open and you remove the tank, it's just going to spray oxygen everywhere. And um, and then somebody will make a spark or something, and then the whole hallway is going to light on fire. So always, uh, as I said in a previous video, adjust the speed setting to 3. So it doesn't take forever. And this starts with enough material to make regular mining explosives. So there's no need to take those dinky, low-yield charge ones. Also, we'll take that multi-tool. And we'll take the insulated gloves. Nobody else is here. They're not going to want them. Don't think I'm going to do any door hacking, but... And while we're here, we'll use this thing. So, first we swipe our card on it, type in a bunch of fives, great. And we'll just print off a QM tag. Doesn't matter what you print. The idea is just to get this barcode label. Now, I am not sure. Now the problem with these labels is that you can't really put them on anything, or put them in anything. Because look, if you put it in your backpack... Oh, it actually does add it to the backpack. I thought it would, like, apply the label onto the backpack, which would be no good. Okay, so that's good. So we'll just keep that label with us for now. So, I'm just going to pocket all these charges. Charges you have to be careful with. Um, if, you, if you're a trader and you remove the safety, and then you try to put it into a, a full package, it's gonna actually plant the charge, and then it's just gonna make your life hell. So, mining. You get one of these boxes. Got all these boxes here. Put a label on it. See what this does. See, it says this par this crate belongs to Grady Mildred. That's us. Oh, and turn on your internals. <laughs> That's, uh, it's important. And also, because of the lag, it doesn't update right away that I turned on my internals, but we should get some of that damage healed. So you can stick to these catwalks, if you want. There's uh, quite a lot of ore to get. We're mainly looking for um, Uquil nuggets, and they're gems. So, we'll just use these, uh, the scanner. And you see how it changes all these things. D is dense. This means it's probably a worm or an artifact in there. Uh, I haven't seen any of the other symbols yet. This is brome. Um, we do want to get that too. So these little icons up here can turn your uh, jetpack on, but we don't want to do that yet. I want to put the jetpack on to our back. There we go. And you hold your bag. And the reason why is that then if you slip, you won't lose your jetpack and your oxygen. So now we turn our jetpack on. And now we can fly around and leave our crate behind us. Because that's just what happens when you're trying to drag around a crate. So there. There we go. So see these little blue icons here? Those are gems of some kind. So, we want to find out what gem is there. We want the gems. So, usually what I like to do is just cut into the rock a little bit. And we'll put that back. We'll take out our charge. And you plant this. As soon as it plants, you run away. Because that's going to blow up. And when it does, it's going to make a big noise. And it's going to cause a bunch of damage to everything. There's a big noise. 
You just want to wait a little bit, too, because it's going to blow up that rock, and then all, there might be surrounding rocks that are explosive for some reason, or there might be other ores that are explosive, and then it'll blow those up. So, got Miracle Matter. Miracle Matter is great. It's this little rainbow-colored rock. And what it does is it will... Uh, basically turn into a random amount of some other type of ore. See, now, that rock worm basically just reached right into my satchel and pulled out some ore. You only pull out the ore that, that he's targeting when you first pack it all up. So, you don't have to worry about him, like, stealing all my ore in my satchel. So, I got some. I got another gem over there, but since I had plasma stone, if I try to blow that up, it's gonna cause me a lot of pain. So let's go down here. We got this. This is Chorbrol. It can sell for decent at the um, quartermaster's office, and I might as well help the quartermaster out. I did see that there was one. He had a sax, so you know, it's only right that we help him out. Let's just move this crate down. Okay. So, just plant a charge. There we go. And then we run away. This is basically mining. This is what you do. A lot of people don't like playing mining because um, you're relatively insulated from the happenings of the station. Uh, probably be a bunch of people going on the thread about, oh, you're not looking at what's going on in the station. And it's true. Because I'm not. I'm out here in the asteroid field. I have a job to do. Oh, and look, there was a telecrystal in there, so we'll take that. And... Just, uh, gather up all this ore here. Hmm. A little bit of a leg spike there. See, so yeah, this Torbol ore will sell well at the Quartermasters, and they'll be happy because they're probably blowing all their budget on party party crates or whatever, and not going to have any money to actually do anything for the station. Uh, is there, there's a couple gems here. So, see these exclamation points? That could be like explosive rock or something. Let's find out. We'll find out just by putting a big explosion there. And there go. And putting an explosive charge here won't actually like vaporize any of the rock. What it does do, though, is if the, any of this rock is explosive, it will cause problems with that. Detonate the explosive rock. Hmm. Oh, here's the other type of ore we want. And claritine. We need that to uh, make various other types of ores. Oh, see, look, there was an artifact in here. So, take this. What those exclamation points could also be is radioactive areas. And so... It'll take a like, large dose of radiation if you go there. Uh, there's a telecrystal here. I don't even think we can tell. I don't even think you can teleport artifacts anymore. I don't think. I don't, just don't think it's something you can even do. If you click on the cargo transporter, it allows you to set a destination. Yeah, you can't even teleport artifacts anymore. So. There's really not much of a point to doing anything with them, just leave them. Okay. Let's push my crate over here. My box. He really wants that ore. It's in my bag. It's like I got a, a buddy. A rock mining buddy. Okay. 
wonder if that uh, charge will kill him. Probably not. Those worms are, like, really, really durable. Yeah, let's wait for the, the really loud noise. Oh, didn't make a loud noise. Citrines are another quartermaster only item. Miners can't do anything with citrines. So, we got quite a bit of ore. Uh, just fill up the rest of this satchel. You see the little meters here? Show you how full the satchel is. So, no. Uh, usually, if I'm mining for quartermasters, I will bring a box with me, but. Eh. Let's go back and see what we can make. Sometimes you can make some useful tools. Come back here, box. Don't leave without me. Oh, a little bit more. One thing to note is that the AI cannot see you out here. There's no cameras here. There's, there's actually some on the prison station, which is here, but... Uh, other than that, the AI cannot see you. So if you want to do a bunch of traitory things, get to no good or whatever, this is a good place to do it. Uh, this ore here is Silurain ore. It's the most valuable type. Uh, also, um, it's the hardest to mine if you don't use a charge. So now we have our bags full of ore. What you do is you just dump them all in the fabricator. Dump. Let me just click on it. There we go. And then, you'll see this one still has a little red dot. So you just click on it, and there it was the citrine. That citrine doesn't even go in there. So what did we get? Got a bunch of fabric. Oh look, one of those Miracle Matters was a Uquil Miracle Matter. So we got that. Uh, so what I like to do is a trobriol. I'll take out 34 of that. That's about it. Everything else we need. So take this box. Oops. There we go. Close it up. And use this gun here. Change it to the cargo pad. And then click on it. And it will send that to the cargo bay. There it goes. It's gone. And so now the quartermasters will be happy. And if they do their job, we'll get some money. Because we put a barcode on that crate. So now... Industrial space armor set. This is what we want. And it's going to make it. So we had enough material. We had the ballroom and the claritine. So that it's basically a special spacesuit. Um, you can like withstand bomb blasts with it, and it's all around just pretty slick. Uh, so we'll take this charge. So I got, mm, got only one charge left. We can make some more though. In here, this one also starts out. So we'll just adjust the speed setting to three. And make some explosives. So, industrial space armor set. Just throw that on. Oh. Throw that on. And I don't think we have enough for a laser drill. Or the, uh, the other wonderful thing to get. It's this thing. 25 moxite and 15 claritine. I don't have enough claritine. I do have the telecrystals, though. Uh, what about the... Um, The 
laser drill. Oh, I, do, I do have enough to make that. No, I don't. I have enough claritine, so I guess I'll go get more of that. So, just take these. Oh, and we're all ready to go. I could refill my jetpack, but it's at 700. So I'm okay with it. I'm not going to bother dragging a box around this time. I don't think I've covered how to open these things yet. So I'll just go through it quick. Uh, this is an abandoned crate. You discover these around the maps, especially the space maps. What you do is you click on it. And ask you to enter a number from 1 to 10. So we'll enter 5. Because that's the midway point. There's, you actually always want to enter 5 as your first guess. So then hit OK. It says a red light flashes. So now you use this thing. And you click on it. Last attempt is lower than expected code. So now I switch to my backpack and then click on it again. So it said it was lower, so we know that then the answer is somewhere between 6 and 10. So I usually do 8. Red light flashes, okay. So let's just say this time. It says the attempt was lower, so we almost did it or 9 or 10 then. So now we got 50-50 chance. Either um, this is going to open or something bad is going to happen. Let's, let's find out. We're going to do 10. <laughs> ah, that, that's what happened. So it blew up because we didn't guess the correct one so it was nine if we'd gotten a nine that would have opened up now because we were wearing this armor we took like virtually no damage from it so that's okay there is a way to open that without this armor and without taking damage but I'm not gonna tell you what it is Generally, um, can always, th they will never kill you in one blast. Uh, it'll probably just do about 25 um, brute damage. And uh, you can just heal it. Uh, just take a med kit with you. There is one back in the mining station. You can just take one of the healing patches with you. So... Now there was a thing over here. Not there. There we are. So this, there's this thing. So what's this thing? It's just it's a thing. It's floating around out here. So what is it? Let's go in and find out. This is another part of being a miner. You can go and investigate things. Ah, there's an energy converter mod. I'll show off what these do at some point. Uh, oh, there's a phaser in there. Okay, I can show off what they do right now. What's this one do? So, you pick up this phaser, right? This is a gun. And apparently I have no room inventory space. What's this one do? So these are mods that you can put on your phaser. So I'll try this one. There we go. So, yeah, you have power settings. Just put it at the max power setting. And it costs a bunch of energy to shoot. But... There. So we've got this phaser. So what can we do with this? So here's some NPCs and an assistant. Oh, it's the quartermaster. Yeah, he runs away. All right.
There's a guy here, he sells things. Uh, this is a shitty bill. He's pretty, uh, pretty popular NPC. So apparently they had a power sink on the station. We don't care about what goes on on the station. We're miners. So we can talk to this guy. He's gonna, he can sell you th various things. Oh, he sells slurry pie now. That's new. And this guy in here, he sells like very expensive pod weapons. Oh, he sells the um, special ops uniform now, and the beret, and the best. Wow. Do we even have any money? Did that quartermaster ever sell that ore? Oh, right, that's not how you work this thing. You... What you do is you open up to talk to him, and then you just have the card in your hand and you click this. You have to enter in your pin. Oh, we did, he did. We got some money. We got 2205. I don't know. Let's buy this thing. And we hit OK. And we hit OK again. And then you say, I'm ready to pick up my order. And it, it appears somewhere. Right there. It's a a goods crate from Sketchy D05. Hooray! Got some special clothing. We're like a secret agent now. We also got this crate, so... Uh, let's put that down for a sec. Throw this in my box. And then we can put our gun in our bag. Gun might come in handy. But for now, we have to get back out on the rocks. Not this way. So if you're mining more for the quartermasters, you can just take a box with you. and leave it behind. That happens a lot when you're dragging items through space. Uh, there's an item you can get, um, the magnetic shoes. It stops that from happening. Hmm. I also have boxes here. But you know what? I think we've done enough for the station. Let's go exploring. So, you just go off the side of the map. And sometimes you'll end up back at the asteroid field, like we just did. Sometimes you'll end up somewhere new. Still at the asteroid field. There we go. So, now we're exploring, and we found a place with a lot of dirt in it. Is that what that is? Is that like space dirt or something? What does it say? Hive wall. Okay. That's interesting. I wonder why there's a hive wall here. I've actually not seen any of this before, so it's like the first time for me too. Oh, there's a light. So now can we like... No, we can't just pick through it. Just... Don't do it. It's not something you can do. Oh, whoops. So there's a drone here. 
Yep. Now he's... Whoa! Yeah. So these drones... ...can be pretty deadly. Wow. He sure takes a lot of hits from this thing. And we're in crit. And we're going to die. Damn you, drone. So, exploring space is risky. Because there's always a chance that you'll get killed by a drone. Because the drones hate you. And they want you to die. And that's basically the life of a miner. I think I'm just going to cut the video here. Because uh, it didn't seem like too much was going on on the station. So, I'll see you guys next time.